Capricorn. I kept the window open. I really hope it's not going to be too loud. <clears throat> okay. So. Here we go, Capricorn. Okay, so this is a very particular message. Oof. Okay, okay. Let's go. Sunglasses. Seduction. Love in reverse. Date. Also, um, sunglasses in reverse, okay? I just had to look at it upright so I could read it. <clears throat> then we've got Ascending. The Snake, I Like You, and Addiction. So, very, very clear message today. I feel like, um, Capricorn, I think you are trying to seduce somebody who doesn't like you. Or somebody is seducing you or trying to seduce you and you don't like them at all. They, it's, there is no love there and they, somebody wants to date somebody. And it's like, dude, this isn't love. Like this is, this is just seduction. This is just something flirty and attractive and some type of interference. Oh, okay. So you think maybe that's what it is. Maybe you think somebody likes you and it's a third party interference. So you don't actually, you can't see who truly likes you. Somebody's, there's a spell. There's most likely some type of spell that's hiding somebody behind somebody. So you think that you're supposed to go back to this ex or that you're supposed to go and date this person because something about them is just, really temptatious but you're you know you don't like them you know you don't like you definitely know you don't love them okay and you're not watching them all right you're not stalking them you're not gaslighting them you actually have absolutely no focus on them whatsoever that's why you're like why do you why does somebody want me to date this person or why am I thinking about this person I'm not focusing on them I'm not watching them I'm looking at them I don't care what they're doing why are they coming up well they're coming up because there's some type of obstacle that you have to get over, okay? And I believe it's the snake. I believe it's an enemy. And it's something to do with looking over your shoulder. It's something to do with the other woman, okay? So this is, this is, or, or there's a third party interference that's trying to mess with your life and your husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, something like that. Somebody's trying to get in to get you guys apart, okay? And, um, it's because they're addicted to you. They don't want you with anybody else. They want you to be with them. Oh, okay. Cause addiction is possession controlling has a block restraint. Like, because this person, if they don't like you, they don't, they, okay. They think it's love. Okay. But really it's just. They just want to date you. There's just something about you that they want to date, but they think that it's love and it's, it is, is not whatsoever. And this, this, there's, they're, there's trying to seduce you into doing something 
and they're this person's very clever they know how to use people and you've got to get through this phase of this of this person being so addicted to you they won't let you be with anybody else they don't want you to be with anybody else they only want you to be with them Because they're the ones that are addicted. They're the ones that are restraining themselves. They're the ones that can't move on. And they're just blaming it all on you. Well, I love this person, so I'm not going to move on. I'm going to stop my whole life because I love this person and I'm gonna, I want to block their life. Ugh. This is weird energy to be picking up today. What are we at? Six minutes? That's okay. 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 So we have the six of pentacles. So it's the universe is delivering this message now because it's time for some fairness to come into your life. It's, it's time for some things to get given back to you that have been stolen from you, from this person, like this person by putting this type of like spell on you almost kind of right by keeping you and sabotaging you and and trying to say that that's love and interfering in your in your life some things have to get given back because with all that they took a lot from you that that magic did a lot probably a lot more than what they're ever going to realize okay so now some things have to get given back to you one of those things that have to get given back to you is your strength okay so they would have taken a lot of your ability to fight back a lot of your inner strength, right? The, the, the kind of strength that we don't ever show anybody because it, that kind of inner strength is shown in a lot of other ways, right? So they would have taken a strength from you, right? And a secret has also been hiding. Okay, there's been a huge secret behind your back. And what this secret is, is this high priest in reverse. And we got this, seven of wands this defensive guy here and what i picked up with this high priest in reverse is the secret that's been hiding from you is that they made you anti-religious they made you the devil they made you the antichrist Which made you really, really defensive because people would have just started attacking you left, right, and center. That if you got attacked a lot over the last, I mean, fuck your whole life, okay? If you've been defensive because you've been constantly attacked and you just didn't really know why, it's because they made you the Antichrist. They would have said that you are straight from hell. This might be your parents. Like, I mean, what else would have... Actually, yeah. I guess some people could have done this recently. Could have made you the Antichrist. And put everything onto you. Like, you are the one that caused world poverty. You're the one that destroyed their house in a tsunami. 
like, yeah, because you could have that much power. You could take down a house with your wind. Like, who do they think you are? So by saying that you had that much strength to do that much damage, you had no strength at all. You might have had a lot of anxiety attacks. You might have had a lot of temper tantrums because people were so wrong and so backwards on everything that you just raged absolute red because they said you were the devil. So that's who you ended up being. I don't really know what else to say. Like, I'm like, it's at the end of the reading. Like, I don't think I really want to take it any further. I really hope this reading helps. This is some fucked up shit. Anyways. Welcome to Moonshine's Tarot.